Aurora City Council will now meet in a week and a half to vote on a new independent investigator in the Elijah McClain case. The 23 year old died last August after he was put into a carotid chokehold by police and injected with a sedative. A police report says he quote resisted contact. Eddie Randall is following the latest developments this morning. Eddie Governor Polis also spoke out about the case. That's right, Natasha. Governor Jarrett Polis says he's hearing from a lot of Coloradans who are expressing concerns to the investigation to Elijah McClain's death. And he says he consulted with his legal team and he asked them to look at how the state can help. And right now they're taking a look at those steps. Now millions have signed a change.org petition asking for an independent investigation to how McLean died and for the Aurora Police Department officers involved in his death to be removed from the streets. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman announced on Wednesday that the Aurora City Council will meet on July 6 to vote on a new independent investigator to look into McLean's death. A council member told us he doesn't know if he feels pressure to do it quickly, but he does feel pressure to do it correctly. The community has really made clear to us that we need to work to rebuild trust. Um, and, and we feel like uh, completing this investigation would be uh, a good first step in, um, in mending that trust with the community. Aurora was several months into a different independent investigation when it removed attorney Eric Daigle from the investigation after it was revealed that he's a former Connecticut police officer whose city council members say advertised his experience defending officers from law enforcement liability claims. Wednesday, Daigle told Nine News, I was disappointed that the city did not even ask any questions or evaluate my abilities and objectives our investigation had made significant progress since being retained. And that change.org petition has over 2.6 million signatures now. Now, the Adams County District Attorney's Office says their office has received 1,700 calls and voicemails on Wednesday. Now, the prosecutor in McLean's case says while that does get their attention, it doesn't change his mind. The officers involved in McLean's death were cleared of any wrongdoing back in November of 2019. Now, the attorney for McLean's family says they want to see all the officers involved prosecuted and the medics who were on scene also charged. Natasha. All right, Eddie, thanks for going through all of that for us.